Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World and the Black Business School. And I wanted to um, uh, speak very quickly. This is going to be a very short video um, uh, in terms of um, uh, what I want to talk about real quick. A lot of you may or may not know a guy named Bernard Arnault. Bernard Arnault um, is a guy who's a uh, filthy, filthy, filthy rich, um, insanely rich, according to Bloomberg. Um, his uh, wealth this year increased by $32 billion. He's now worth over $100 billion. So he's the third person in world history uh, to be worth um, over $100 billion. Uh, Bernard Arnault also happens to be um, the, uh, the founder of Louis Vuitton uh, in Hennessy. Uh, he's uh, a large part of the reason his wealth grew so much is because uh, the consumption of Louis Vuitton and Hennessy went up this year, and I thought that was really interesting. Um, he has a lot of a lot of um, of these uh, so-called prestige brands. Um, his family uh, is 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 very wealthy. Uh, they're, they're the richest family in Europe, and uh, Jeff. So far, Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates are the only two people to have joined him in the hundred billion dollar club. Now, um, one of the interesting things that I thought was really fascinating about the wealth that he has. Uh, what's going on, Charles? Good to see you again, my friend. Uh, Charles, I saw Charles in London. I remember talking to you, Charles, brother. It's good to see you. Um, you know, the uh, the interesting thing about this is that, you know, when you're talking about these luxury brands, um, you know, black people love luxury brands. You know, our, our rappers uh, are walking infomercials for luxury brands. Uh, we spend a lot of our money. Uh, some people spend their last dollars on luxury brands. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen rappers draped out in Gucci, draped out in Louis. Um, and, uh, and it's really fascinating uh, to kind of see. And, uh, and it's also fascinating that we will claim that black people don't have the ability to build wealth. We'll say black people don't have any wealth. We can't build anything. We can't even build our own schools. We, we, you know, we can't even start our own businesses, create our own jobs. But we give away over a trillion dollars a year to uh, the broader economy. So as Dr. Claude Anderson said the other day when he came on my channel, he said the reason white folks are doing so well is because they're living off two incomes. They're living off their income and they're living off your income because they're not sharing their income that much with you. You know, maybe they'll give you a job, something like that. But they're not really sharing their income with you in terms of buying from you. Um, uh, but you're sharing the bulk of your income with them. So they're living off two incomes. They've been boycotting black businesses since the beginning of time. And we are among their leading supporters. Um, now, I, I saw some people on Instagram. My Instagram is the real voice Watkins. And I saw some people say, uh, well, but black people don't, we, we don't make the majority of the Louis Vuitton purchases. We don't make the majority of the Hennessy purchases, you know, stuff like that. And, that, and that's fine. I understand that. But you know, in a way, the, our support of these luxury brands is meaningful for a couple of reasons. One, uh, we make up a disproportionate percentage of the purchase of these luxury brands. Um, uh, Nielsen, Nielsen, this is a, a this was a report written by white people for white people talking about black people. So Nielsen did this report where they basically were telling each other, like they weren't even, they they didn't even they weren't even talking to the black consumers. They're talking it was white business people talking to other white business people. They said black consumers are very important because they love to spend their money. They also said black consumers love to spend a disproportionate amount of their money on luxury items. They also stated this. They said black people have a cool factor, and the cool factor is what will lead them to spend more money if they think that your product is cool. So we think Hennessy's cool, so we'll drop, a, we'll drop some cash on Hennessy. We think Louis's cool, we'll drop some money on Louis. We think Gucci's cool, we'll drop big money on Gucci. Uh, and a lot of people that drop big money on Gucci and Louis are people who can't really afford Gucci and Louis. So it goes back to what I call um, economic immaturity, which is where um, you know, you will buy the things you want and beg for the things you need. You know, you claim poor poverty on one hand, but you're uh, showing prosperity on the other hand, right? It doesn't make any sense. It's a contradiction. So in a way, our support for these luxury brands is a lot like our support for the Democratic Party. We don't make up the majority of the Democratic Party, but our vote, the black base, is very important. The Democrats cannot win an election without black voters. Am I right or am I right? Let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think about that. Uh, we are very important in this. And, and the other crazy thing is that rappers don't understand the power of marketing all the time uh, in the sense that they they also know, they wrote this in the report, that black consumers adopting your product 
is very lucrative for you. That when black consumers adopt it, everybody else follows. Uh, when black consumers start doing something, everybody else follows that trend. And so what they were saying in the report, this is white people talking, white folks talking to white folks. They said, if you get black consumers to like your stuff, then everyone else will start to like your stuff and then you'll make even more money in the long run. So just kind of keep that in mind uh, as you think about this. Uh, we are big and important consumers in this game. Uh, we may not have as much money as everybody else, but we spend more than everyone else because we don't really like to save and invest as much as we should. I'm trying to help you know, change that. Also, there are some really great black luxury brands out there, black owned luxury brands out there that you can support. Um, I hope that you'll be more conscious about your spending when people are unconscious that's when they get exploited whether you're talking about uh, you know assault or you're talking about somebody robbing you or whatever if you're not conscious people can rob you but if you're conscious then it's harder for them to get you because you're aware so be financially conscious it's very important uh, last point is that there's a study that says that a lot of times the reason poor people spend on luxury items is due to self-esteem they said a poor person will spend a lot of their money on a luxury item because it'll make them feel better about themselves it'll make them feel accomplished it makes them feel like they are you know they've achieved something and so you know ultimately this is a spiritual and an emotional process so I encourage you to realize that being black is the best brand you can have the best brand I've ever worn in my life is called melanin you feel me I mean the, the bigger the greatest brand in the history of all mankind is blackness that that's the ultimate uh, you know Louis Vuitton times a thousand right being black is the best thing you can ever be so you get up every day with a designer brand on your skin because God made you black so be proud of that have your self-esteem intact so people can't sort of sell you your self-esteem by getting you to pay $500 for a purse. So anyway, that's it, guys. I'm out of here. I love you. I, I want to see you do well. Good luck to you. And if you haven't learned how to invest yet, uh, I hope you'll go to blackmoney100.com. Feel free to go sign up. There's a free training on how to buy your first share of stock. That's blackmoney100.com. Also, uh, two, uh, my online digital masterclass meets every Tuesday night. We talk about investing <clears throat> and all this other stuff and the intricacies of, intricacies of investing. Uh, you can go to drboycemasterclass.com. That's drboycemasterclass.com. The next two cities I'm going to head to are uh, Chicago and Los Angeles. So if you want to do the live investing seminar, which is a day long, it's really, really good. Everybody loves it. Uh, and there's a money back guarantee if you're not happy, but everybody loves it. You can go to drboycechicago.com and drboycelosangeles.com. So feel free to check those, those sites out. And uh, I'm out of here, guys. Take care. Hit the thumbs up button. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Peace.